Okay, so this is a video on how to make some Islamic art. Now the first thing you need to do is draw a square. Make sure it is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And when you do so, make sure you leave a gap between the edge of the paper and the edge of your square. So press pause whilst you do that. Now the next stage is to draw a diagonal line from this corner down and then a further diagonal line from this corner and up. So it should look something like this. So that's what you should end up with at the moment, those two diagonal lines. We're now going to add two further lines, one vertical and one horizontal, and all of them going straight through the middle, bisecting that middle. So it should look like this. Now, once you've done that, we're going to draw a line from the centre part there, of the middle line there, and we're going to draw it down to this one. And then one more that goes from down to this one. Okay, so that should end up looking like this. All right, so you can see that line has gone from that middle part down to there, and then that middle part down to there. Now what we're going to do is two further lines, is one up from here to here, and one from here to here. So that will end up looking like uh, this. Right, so as you can see now, we've got what looks like a box within a box, a square within a square. We can see lots and lots of different shapes being formed here. Okay, so we've got the beginnings of our Islamic art. Now, if you want, you can leave it here and you can color in the different shades, uh, the different triangles, the different boxes, different shades. But if you want to do something a little bit more detailed, then um, get ready for the next part, okay? Now, this next part involves a little bit of measuring. And what we're going to measure is we're going to measure from here to this point here. So we're going to measure that's from the zero and we're going to measure to that point there. So if I get my ruler, then we'll end up looking like this. So you can see I've got my ruler in place now and here is five millimeters that I talked about and I'm just going to mark that on to that diagonal line. So I'm going to get it into place, mark it onto the diagonal line using my ruler. And I'm just going to make a little mark there. And then I'm going to go around and do exactly the same to each spot. So I've got the same measurement in each place, all of which five millimeters. Now, to make your life easy, what I'm going to do is we're going to number these. So we're going to number them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you can see I've numbered the measurements I just asked you to put in. And then as well as that, I numbered where the corners meet just on each one of those. And I've put those in order. So why do we want to do that? Well, what we're going to do next is we're going to draw a line between what would be six and four. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So you can see I've drawn that line and then I'm going to draw a line from eight right through to two. So it will look the mirror image of it. So you can see I've got my two lines. So now I'm going to draw something extra. I'm going to draw a line from six up to one and from four up to one. So I'll be making an isosceles triangle. So let me show you what that looks like. So we've got that triangle. There's my line from six to one and there it is from four to one. And you've got that triangle there. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do to make life simple is I can turn my picture around because I want to draw a line from eight to five and two to five. So I can turn my picture around if I find that easy, like so. And it might be easier for you to, to see that. Or you can keep it as it was, were, as it was, and then draw those lines in from top to bottom. So they end up looking like this. So you can see I've drawn in those extra lines and now I've got my final image. Now this is your first steps in making some Islamic art. What you can do next is gently rub out the numbers because you don't want those in there all the time. That will rather spoil the effect. And then you can do the following. You can either stop here and just focus in on coloring each different part a different color, keeping a pattern, or you can make it more intricate. 
and by doing that you can draw another 10 by 10 grid beside it or if you've got enough paper and you can stick it together even underneath it and from there so you end up building a big block pattern now that if you do it will end up looking like this now you can see from this one I put four blocks together on the computer screen to show you what that looks like you've then got a much more intricate pattern uh, that you are quite likely to see decorating some uh, floor space or wall space um, in ancient Baghdad. Now if you wanted to colour that, I would say that you pick out one section first, you decide on the colour pattern you're going to do, maybe two or three colours, maybe as we've done in class where the colours don't touch each other, and then once you've done one tile you then do the next one the next one and the next one all in exactly the same fashion and you end up with that repetitive pattern that we've seen on the other slides all right make sure if you want to watch this video again to um, remember what to do and when to do it pause it at the appropriate moments rewind it go back over it and you should end up with quite an excellent design good luck